Our garage is currently operating at 47% efficiency. So we did see a huge drop in efficiency. I guess we'll wait on trailers for a while. That's okay. I want to start thinking about where we expand. Now, currently Topeka is our headquarters right up here. So I'm thinking maybe we need to stick one down here into Texas and maybe hit the Texas market. We could hit more of the Colorado or Wyoming market, but we're not gonna do any of that until we make more than 44% productivity here. So let's keep on trucking by hauling some gasoline. Now these just, they're paying well, so we're gonna keep on doing it. I mean, we got the endorsement to be able to haul this stuff for a reason. It's paying us well, we're making good money, and I don't have any problem taking these loans or these 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 loads again and again as long as we're getting paid great you know dollars per mile that's what i'm looking for we got to get 47 miles down the road to pick up this trailer that we're going to be hauling it's currently seven in the morning we'll be there by just after eight so it's going to take us like I said, an hour. And we have $36,000. By the end of this run, we'll be on our way over 40, I hope. Are you serious? Brother. The road, though? Just the road, though. I've driven on... The this road has given me 5% of damage. Are you for real? Can't go over 15 out here. They have... They don't take care of it. <laughs> Bro! Seven. 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 Seven percent damage from this gravel road. Maintain your... Oh, my Lord. Our suspension took a bruising on that. Are you kidding me? That was so much, dude. Now, there goes some profit right there. Good Lord. Things like that can't be happening to our trucks. Our shocks probably ain't happy. Our tires ain't happy. Good. We'll see how the alignment's doing. I know we hit the underside of the bumper, so we, we'll see how the flares are doing down there. I, it's just, it is what it is. That was a mess. Let's get this other trailer picked up. My lord, it took that Prius ten and a half years to make his turn, boy. <sighs> Dang, I just got a report from one of our drivers. They just had, you know, they dropped off a load and they were trying to find a way back to the garage. They could not find a load back to the garage, so they had to, uh, I had to bobtail back. We lost 580 some dollars in fuel and maintenance because we didn't have a load to cover. So that's fun, you know, but part of trucking, sometimes you don't have a job to haul. And uh, these guys, you know, they're relatively new drivers. They don't all have endorsements. Our trucks aren't really set for heavy hauls. Uh, so it's just a matter of training them up, getting their endorsements and and that problem will start to fix itself a little bit as we continue to grow. Uh, but, you know, you're, gonna have, you're just going to have times like that. It is what it is. But we're about 18 miles out. We'll be, uh, we'll be there any time. All right. Looks like this is going to be our exit here. 33. We're going to be 20 minutes off 10 miles. So probably a little ways outside of town, if I had to guess here. There's a big rest stop maybe even a fuel stop there to the left i'm not exactly sure but we don't need to go there right now so i'm just gonna get rolling this way and hit a red light i always hit red lights i swear you gonna get over here or not mr jeep i saw you for a second didn't you want over here i would have let you don it all right well that's fine if you're gonna speed up last second to do it though ain't you okay nope he wants to go to the right all right but i gotta hit the brakes Woo -wee. hey y'all almost died up there i don't know if you knew it but he did. A bank that's on your side doesn't exist. Try again. Sorry. The banks work for the bourgeoisie. Ooh, we got some football out here, boys. Gonna go watch some Texas football. I'm sure. I'm sure that's probably a Texas high school football, maybe college. I don't know. I don't know what's here. There's some people walking out and about, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Easy, Jake. You're getting all over the place, son. You gotta be driving your semi. You got five, mi five more miles. Washington Road. Washington. I've been here. Have I been here? I've been here. They got little tennis or pickleball right there. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Should I get a should I become a, a pickleball professional just for the meme? Huh? Imagine the merchandise opportunity, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brada, it has been red for two and a half years. They're gonna get to go, but not me. Why are they special? You son of a <laughs> That van is so confused. Why did he honk? Sorry. It was it was for a joke. Here, I'll tell you what, we'll make it up to him. Right now, as we go by, hit him with the with the, with a couple hand wave as you go by the way you stare him down you keep your hand up there you go we made it we made it up to him we made eye contact that's how you do that 
I do remember this place because they had that fuel station or that fire station right there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this place. We literally, we just, okay. We've been here. Very recent. I remember everything about this place. Heck yeah. Repeat customer. Slow. Okay. How slow? And that's very rude of you to say, by the way. Slow. Hey, stop pointing it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we've made it here at Vortex and... Vortex. Hmm. What's that say? Plant, admin, and storage. I think i probably go to storage, right? I don't know. I'm sure this guy will tell me. He's checking my papers. Making sure everything's legal. Everything's all right. I need to get my license redone. Don't look at that. It's still good. It's just... It's gonna not be good in a few months. I really don't want to go get a new one. Why can't we just mail it to me? Come on, y'all. It's sarcasm. I know why. Relax. All right. So I think this is the storage. Yup. Yup. This is going to be one of our trailers right there. That one or that one. Take your pick. Left or right. Comment down below. It's a gamble. It's the one on the left headed to Tulsa. It's going to take us an hour 45 on the road. So probably two hours on the road here. Not too bad. We'll be there by 11-ish. But like always, we got to pull ourselves right up here and hook up to our trailer. So I'm going to spin my little tushy on around, get it pointed at my trailer. Then I'm going to make Justin more proud and back that thing up. Y'all heard that song from like, I don't know, 2013 maybe? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this boy being professional. Oh, so good, dude. Sign me up, coach. High dollar trucker right here. I only wreck 60% of the time. That's pretty good. 60% <laughs> of the time. It works every time. All right. I'm already checked the trailer. Promise you. Definitely check the trailer. So we're going to get out of here. Can I go left? I want I want to know what's left, kind of. Going to be honest. Maybe that's the way I was supposed to go. It, no. Maybe? Oh, yeah. It might have been. There's a chance. Well, this way works, too. I'm, not, I'm fine with it, if you're fine with it. I think all we need to do is sneak back out of here, go through security one more time, and we will be out on the road headed towards Tulsa here today. There's a bad little... Oh! Wait. Hold on. I want to point this out. Okay, so y'all know the law. You're usually supposed to stop behind the stop sign or at the stop sign unless the line indicates another location, in which case you are to use the line. This line indicates way up here like in the way of that driveway so i feel like it should actually be way back there so SES, i think realistically they would actually probably put this back at the stop there if they were doing this in real life perhaps not you know i could be wrong i don't know i'm not i'm not like an actual road design guy but i am kind of a nerd and so you can take my word for it i've studied that quite heavily <laughs> but it's okay they don't really make or break the game for me. I don't really care. Either way, we're going to get on out of here and make our money. Whoa, hey. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't got to talk to you. Anti-social security guard, anti-social trucker. Best friends. We never even talked, and he's my best friend right there. Love going to this place. I'm going to find out his work schedule. I only come during those hours. <laughs> Hell truckers ever been scheduled to try, or like been, been uh, attempt, tempted to try that? find somebody's schedule and be like, I want to go there during this, these hours. Why? There's a dude I like. He's funny. <laughs> Excuse me. The three piggies are going to town. Where are they going? Are you going to tell me or am I going to have to find it out for myself? Guess we got to follow them and find out, eh? Follow them as long as we can, but I got places to be too, so. <laughs> I looked at the used truck market while we uh, were loading up there for just a split second, and I got to be honest, there's some trucks I want to buy, but we just don't have anywhere to put the trucks. So if we want to buy those trucks, we do need to upgrade or buy another garage. And I'm definitely down to, it's just... I don't know where to do that yet. We need a little bit more money, but we're close. We're close to being willing to investing more into that. Is that was bad sentencing? Um, let me try again. We're close to being to the point where I'm willing to invest in a new headquarters or a new terminal or whatever you want to call it. But that's the only way we're going to be able to buy these trucks I want to buy. So it's going to cost a little bit more than just the trucks. Whoa, 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 whoo, whoo. Holy mama, oh my goodness. Everybody almost hitting each other. Look out, go. Oh, 
Everybody just playing it close, dude. Nobody cares about the insurance down here. Everybody wants to trade paint. It's the thing that they do at this intersection. Mount Washington Road is what community church? Oh, man, they even praying over it. I don't understand this place. Oh, as they are at, they got pickleball. And I know that's tennis, but I'm going to claim pickleball. All right, superior sport. <laughs> is that a dog? Oh, you want to ride with me, buddy? I take you. Oh, mm. He almost took me off the road, and that's what he did. My dude tells me to do the r go to the right lane, so I think I'm gonna try and hit that right lane right away. Why was that so bumpy, dude? I didn't just hit nobody, did I? Was that just a bump in the road, or was that a person? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Truck. Oh. Oh, was it a person? What was it? No, it was a bump. Okay. And that bump got my truck stuck for a second there. That was a little interesting. If I hear anything about that on the news, then I guess we'll know more. Ah, that's a fascinating sign to see after that whole ordeal. Oh, no, 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 no. Briggs, 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 Briggs. Oh, you gonna turn green right after I completely solve my issue and use up all of my brakes? You know, rubber doesn't grow on trees. Wait, we gotta get on 35 towards Oklahoma City here. Got a full tank of fuel. We've got pretty good on our clock to drive. And we got 211 miles to go. So we're in a good spot here. We're gonna get up 65, 75 miles an hour, whatever it may be. Whatever we can do with this load. We'll see. I sure do hope somebody lets me onto the highway. It's clear. It's clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. There's one car on the outside. One car on the outside. He's staying there. Two cars on the outside. We're fine. Whew. Man, I'm just gonna poop the four ways real quick while we get up to 45, and then I'll take those off. But I just want everyone behind me to know that I'm going a little bit slow here, just in case. Yeah, people flying past us, dude. 75 mile an hour, and we're out here doing 40. We're close. Come on. We're close to 45, at least. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and call that 45 right there. Boom. It is a pretty drive through here. It always is. Love taking this road. Love taking this road. <laughs> we almost clipped mirrors, buddy. Oh my lord. I've had that happen. I was in a school bus, not driving it. I was just, you know, passenger in my school days. I was in a school bus, and um, the mirror of a semi collided with our mirror on the highway. Both of us going 55, 60 miles an hour down the highway. Just bang. Loud as heck. Oh, my lord. I've also been in a school bus that slid into the ditch during the winter and then tipped on its side. I've been in numerous school buses that got stuck in the winter. That was very common. I'm speeding. Well, that's a pretty rare occurrence. <laughs> Not very often I go too fast. Oh, my lord. I'm also too furious, boy. We gotta keep slowing down. Oh, mama. There we go. We're closer. So I'm in the middle lane here because I think that ends on the right. I just, I, I don't want to accidentally be in it if it does. Um, okay. No, that was fine. It says, does it not say exit only? That left is. Am I going north? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, 60 through here? Why y'all keep slowing it down, boy? Oh, I got to get to the right. Are you kidding me? How far to the right? Okay. Okay. Okay, working on it. Working on it. There's a car right there. Gotta be careful. Thank you. All right, we're in this lane. Do I need over one more? I don't even know, dude. We got a muddy river. This is neat. This is a neat area. But I gotta pay attention to what we're doing here. I think we're... It's, I think it just goes the same place. So we should be okay. I'm gonna sneak over... Actually, no. You know what? This is gonna have us get back over into this lane. I'm staying here at this point. Sorry, everybody. I would've got over if I understood what was going on. I understand now. So that's good. Also, this lane made it easier for me to merge over here. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Yeah. Thank you. I don't even know if I need it over here. I'm just hoping. Am I taking 40 or am I taking 35? Because then I would know. If I get in the right lane, I don't have any idea. All I know is we've got 147 miles ahead of us. Mm, we're taking 35 was the answer. All right. I'm going to sneak over here to the right then. Now that I know this is where I'm going. We'll let people get around me if they want to get around me. And we'll be getting out of... Where, where have we been here? I think Oklahoma City is where we were headed. So maybe this is maybe this is Oklahoma City or around there. Uh, we were headed to Tulsa. But I mean, uh, at one point, we were pointed towards Oklahoma City. I remember a sign on the road. But I see a Tulsa exit coming up here. 
So we're gonna stick ourselves right in it. It's gonna be 138A. It's a toll. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm fine with paying a toll if I'm making money, I guess. Although, <laughs> the tolls in this game are very low compared to, like, your income. It's funny. Because, like, your income is pretty high, your tolls are pretty low, and in real life, like, your income's lower and the tolls are higher. I don't know. It just makes me laugh a little bit. You can get a mod to change all that kind of stuff, though, if you really want to. But I do think we should be able to just keep moving. I don't have to pull into any place. Yeah. Turn pass. Everything should be fine. Nine dollars paid to get on here. Now, if I needed fuel or anything at all, we could pull in. It's 11. I could get lunch, but no need. We'll be all right. I think we're actually going to have to get over to the left here. This is going to be an exit only. So I'm going to get over now. I indicated a little early. That way anybody behind me had a little bit of time to react, but it should be fine. So that would have been for 377.99. Okay. Why well, except 179? And we're continuing straight here, 104 miles out. We still got shy of two hours on this drive. It's going to be a little bit yet. They got them tolls over there all closed off, dude. They said ain't nobody pulling in there to pay with their cash. Nope. Mm -mm, not taking it. <laughs> we'll just send you a bill. <laughs> I don't know if my truck just won't accelerate more. Oh, that must have been it. I was like, is that my adaptive cruise? I don't think I have that set. I do not. But we got road work up here, so I'm going to start slowing down, actually. I don't want to be going too fast up here. Because I think we need to merge to the left. I'm going to start to... Come on, bro. Really? Don't, 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 don't be like that. All right, I'm just gonna slow down then. I don't think I have to merge. I think we'll be okay. No, we did not. We did not. We're good. Just slowing down. So it looks like they're redoing this intersection here. They're doing some new bridges, some new ramps. Very cool. I'm excited to see this when it all gets finished. Oh, is he gonna have to get over now? Okay, yep, he is. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll slow down because I gotta take this right. So you got plenty of time, buddy. And I gotta slow myself down on this right because it is a 25. There we go, we're doing all right. So they're working right in there, dude. That is so cool. This whole area is just a big old road construction site. I'd love to see more big scale road construction moving forward. I really love this, this is awesome. I'd love to see situations where you have to drive on the other side of the road for a little bit. You know what I mean? When they close down one side of the interstate. I'd love to see them add weather. So you had dynamic weather and in, you know, in the south you could have really crazy rain rainstorms and then in the north you could have winter, you know, blizzards and I don't know. It's a lot of cool things you could do. Because like out in Wyoming too, they have, uh, they have all those wind or uh, highway closing ramps where they close the highway if uh, the weather gets too bad. And they have those changeable uh, speed signs, the digital speed limit signs. So if the weather got bad, right, then the speed limit signs could drop down and you could also, if it got really bad, close those those arms down. I think it'd be really cool. It'd make the game, like the world, a little bit more dynamic. If you're driving through and the weather gets really bad, you suddenly get a, a storm, you know, and it's so bad that like, oh, I better pull over and find a place to rest. And I think that's just like a whole new aspect of the game that is kind of not really explored in the proper way. There are mods that provide it, but because they're mods and they're limited by what they can do, what they're provided from the base game, uh, you know, you know their ability to mod it, uh, it's it puts it in like every state. So even the states in the south, even California, like everyone gets snow if you use a snow mod. And I'd rather these sorts of things be kind of region dependent and be more accurate and just kind of happen when they happen, you know, fluctuate. It'd be really cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm dreaming, but I think that would be a really awesome, immersive feature to have. This city right here, though, looks so good, dude. Driving over this, all those streets down there, that rail track, everything. It makes me, like, hope one day that SCS, like, does a cities DLC or, like, they just go through doing more detail per state. You know, kind of like their California rework. That would be super cool because in, look at all those streets down there that we could be driving on, that we could be enjoying. You know, we could be doing city deliveries. That would be really, really awesome. It's like a whole nother aspect of trucking. You get the over the road trucking experience, which is what they have primarily worked on here. Oh my Lord, I really got to pay attention. <laughs> that was so many lane changes that were sketched. But 
then you could also like get the more local driving experience and you could really dynamically build a uh, trucking company and when you have day cabs like these they could run locally and when you get the sleepers you could run those on the the uh national routes i just think it would be super cool uh but you know maybe someday we'll see what happens maybe a modder can do that maybe the game developers will do it you never know you never know what the game has in store never thought that we would get multiplayer never thought we'd get modded multiplayer with like both like traffic is what i mean and we do we have that it works pretty darn well and i hear suspectedly that they might be upping the slot counts um sometime in the next year or two as long as you know that goes well i hope that that is true because that will make a big difference and like okay so the biggest thing right now is truckers mp has no traffic and stuff like that last i knew but you can truck with a lot of people and that makes the game feel really immersive you got a lot of real people on the road it's really fun that way what it's missing is mods and traffic right so if you can have servers that have right now i think the max is like eight but if you can get like 30 people in a server and you're all trucking around together that is amazing i would even love to go as far as like if you get 100 people in a server that would be amazing but 30 you know something like that would be fantastic as well but our destination is going to be here to the right we've got a bus coming and i'm going to let him go i regret my decision it was two cars now that i three well more than two cars but the two that i thought was a bus <laughs> from far distance was not. I thought that railing was significantly higher than it was, and I was like, that's a little weird, but okay. Nope. Was not the case. But I'm gonna go now. That guy can wait. That guy's turning. Everybody's gonna be fine. This is our drop-off right here, by the way. We are pulling up to 45? Well, why is... I guess because of the gas station? Want me to pull in on the next? Yeah, no trucks. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm a delivery. Do I count? I might also get something to eat here, though. Y'all got some really good hot dogs? What do you got? What do you got out here at Tulsa Industrial Zone? Thank you so much for stopping back, dude. That helps a lot. I had the room, though, but thank you, thank you. I got to drop you there to drop... Oh. Nobody come. I got to back my booty up. Sorry, wait a minute. Sorry, wait a minute. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, he's thinking, oh, my Lord, I gotta take my turn. And then he see a truck doing a reverse worst day of his life. He's scared. Mm -hmm. He's like, I just want to go through that. I want to go through that track through, too. I I've always tempted to, just out of spite. But I'm going to walk in there while we do fill this place up with some gasoline and get myself a little something to eat for lunch here. So I'll talk to y'all in just a minute. We're going to get unloaded, and I'm going to get my paycheck thirteen thousand dollars is what we've got we did level up as well now i'm going to continue putting that towards fuel economy i'm going to max that out and then go for other things if we check our garage here we're operating at 51 percent getting better let's do another run 